this video is about how import from Inventor to 3ds Max does not work. So here this is my assembly, it consists of the connection plate and the steel, uh, steel angle. In the steel angle there is an extrusion that forms an opening over the connection plate. Now I will export it to the 3ds Max and I will export it as meshes. So I click export, set the settings and after few minutes I have the import. This is my import to 3ds Max. As you can see the model in the 3ds Max is totally different from the model I had in Inventor. The steel, steel is not imported at all and uh, my findings are that this happens because the steel angle has an extrusion operation that is performed on the assembly level. As you can see there there is no steel angle. Now second attempt for importing the same assembly. Now I will export it as solid uh, as solids to 3ds Max and uh, after a few minutes we have the situation in which there is an error message uh, displayed on the screen. This error message uh, window contains the list of the files that the software encountered an error importing. In case of this assembly there are two files in the assembly and also two uh, files listed on the error list. I found that uh, when I import, when I try to import any assembly to the 3ds Max uh, from Inventor, I have, and I try to do it as solids, then I have the error every time, and this error message contains the list of the files, uh, of the parts that are the parts of the assembly, all of them. So. Uh, after this error window is closed by clicking OK or by the X on the top right corner, the import continues and after some time I have the model in the 3D, uh, 3ds Max. As you can see now, the steel angle was imported, not as before. Uh, also the steel plate is imported, but as you can see on the uh, window the mm, the arrangement of the of the assembly in the 3ds max the uh, the list of, of of parts is rather not acceptable because there are only uh, parts uh, name part names related to the angle the steel angle and the steel plate is not on the list uh, and as you will see in further of this movie this is even more spectacular with the mm, slightly bigger the second assembly in Inventor on the beginning in and e on the end of the frame you can see the two U profiles in this U profiles there are openings formed by extrusion uh, operation done on the assembly level these extrusions form the openings for the chains uh, visible in blue and after exporting this assembly to 3ds Max and the export is done as uh, you will see that these profiles being subject to extrusion are not included okay we have the assembly imported into the 3d 3ds Max scene and as you can see here, uh, there are no this the DCU profiles that were subject to operation are not visible on the screen. I will zoom up, zoom in. Uh, the rear one is not there, so this one here that I am showing in Inventor is not present in the 3ds Max. I will make it side by side. Okay, this is the Inventor and the 3ds Max view. You can clearly should see the difference between those two. So this profile that is subject to extrusion operation on the assembly level was not important if exported as meshes. Also the other one in front 
uh, was not imported. And also the bracing elements that were shown in the beginning of this video, the, these uh, bracing elements that are also uh, including extrusion operation are not imported into the 3DX mass, Max scene. Now I will show you how the import of this assembly look like if imported into the 3ds Max and if imported and So I will now navigate to my folder with the inventor assembly and choose this assembly and the same assembly of the frame to be imported into the next into the new 3ds Max scene as solids uh, and of course I will not save the uh, the, the After some time, we are getting the error message window that includes all parts that are in listed in the assembly. So basically, all the parts in the assembly are listed in the message window. After import, the model looks pretty okay. The files are there, the extrusions are there, the sub assembly with the extrusion are there, but the uh, contents of the scene in terms of the names of the parts and parts listing is not okay because as you can see uh, all the names were substituted with the names of the U profiles that are being subject to extrusion uh, operation and uh, in consequence this assembly cannot be handled properly because all the parts names are uh, basically the same and you cannot distinguish uh, parts that you would like to select to change the material or anything to do anything with them so this is not acceptable for me as a user as the proper import into the 3ds max so basically currently i am unable to import from inventor to 3ds max and uh, this software should be fully compatible but obviously it is not.